what's up guys thank you for tuning in to the channel it's Jen and Isla here so uh, we're doing the power and analysis and this is on the we we'll start with the higher time frame which is the monthly time frame so the monthly time frame what you see is the Japanese yen it came from this top to down here formed another top here came down fell to break through came to this point didn't go up that much came tested this line again and reached this line of resistance but then it broke out so when it broke out it formed something like a channel it formed that channel there so from the monthly time frame we go to the weekly time frame so that you can see the channel properly so if i show move that you see this channel here this bullish channel there it, it's, it's the trend that pound yen is following at the moment then we come to the daily time frame and see so it is very clear on the daily time frame than it is on the monthly time frame so you see the line was in this channel here came from with this top went down did go down that much to test the line then formed a double top and came back to this line of support there then it shot up to this area here so from this area here uh, you can be able to see the candlestick pattern that was formed and that only reached that line of resistance at that point then it came from this structure here then dropped again but didn't reach this downer part of the channel so it moved up it has done the same thing from the double top and now it is going to proceed I expect it to proceed up to down this side because this is an area of resistance so with that being said we need to put a horizontal ring which will be our take profit which is just down there on that trade line then from the you want to come down on the four hour time frame and see what's happening so on the four hour time frame we see it is forming something like a head and shoulders pattern which is a good sign of trend reversal so to this top here, then this one there, that is the head, came down, did that, now we expect it to proceed to our take profit which is on the red line there. So, sorry for that disturbance. They deformed something like a head and shoulders pattern. There. So this is the first shoulder. Then come here to this. This is the head. And then this is the other shoulder. So, if you want to see it clearly, you can come and put your area of resistance there. It starts all from this side. So, that is your area of support and resistance so if you want to take profit there your first take profit will be just down here so this is take profit one and then this is take profit two so if this channel moves further down it will reach up to that point which will be 
take profit too. Then you see what's happening on the hourly time frame. On the hourly time frame, is you can clearly see that this point of support and resistance has been respected. It came this line, this very smooth came, broke below, went back to the test, fell to break above, came down, started playing around down here, then eventually moved to this other point of resistance. It fell to break, came back, fell to break, came back. Then this channel here, sorry, this structure here down, if it breaks below that, that's when you want to enter your trade and now hold on for your take profit to be hit so if i were to trade on that one i would put my short position just like this so that is take profit one but then you want to reduce your losses so you just put them above there so you're risking 89 pips to get uh, 422 pips for take profit one and then if it's take profit two if it will come and move up to the 930 <laughs> So in now So guys, take profit two will be 919 pips. Yeah, that's it for the analysis on the pound yen. I hope you guys catch this move and make some bread. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out my links in the description to help you get a uh, ebooks courses and pdfs on price action chart patterns and specific trading strategies for indices and then the forex thank you guys for watching peace